First of all, you are bisexual. Is that yeah. is that true? And you've known that you knew that when you married him. Yeah, I knew that yeah. I was bisexual when I married him. Did you tell him? Yes. And did you think that was a good thing? Yeah, of course you did. What are you saying? When friends introduced Allison to Joshua, everything about him screamed in this right. They speed dated and quickly wed three months later. But now Joshua says he fears their rapid fire marriage is running out of ammunition. She's cheated on me once or twice or more. Don't know yet. Me and her, we, we haven't had, you know, towards the end, we haven't had really much sex at all. So I asked her, you know, hey, can we do this? Well, she didn't. She didn't want to upset so her, but that next night yet, she'd go have sex with another dude. Mrs. Hendricks, did you have an affair with another guy? One time. You don't seem very sorry about it, Miss Hendricks. Do you care? No. Yes. No, she don't. Can Joshua and Allison work out their differences? Or will this once hopeful marriage have a not so happy ending? Today, on Divorce Court. Come to order. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Kohler presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Joshua Hendricks and Allison Hendricks. Mr. and Mrs. Hendricks, you have been married for a little over a year. You do not want to be married anymore. You're also in the courtroom, we have Brandy Evans-Miller. Good day to you. Uh, Mrs. Hen Mr. Hendricks, I believe she's your fiance, but I'm not quite sure. You'll clear that up for me, I'm sure, momentarily. Uh, you two have an economic matter that you would like me re to resolve, and I will do that. But before we do, Mr. Hendricks, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why you want to end your marriage? Well, Your Honor, it was a really good relationship at first, but uh -huh. then it just it went downhill to where she was, she'd be talking to other dudes, texting them, you know, and being on the phone all the time with them and meeting other dudes. And she'd leave four o'clock, you know, in the morning or do whatever she wanted to do. And she'd just have, you know, just do her own thing. I would actually, I worked before, you know, I mean, I didn't, I don't now at towards the end of it, but I worked before and I would go to work and I'd come home, I'd have to do the dishes, the cleaning, all that crap, because she didn't do nothing. So, I mean, it was just pretty much that, and then the fact that she would always, you know, be talking to these dudes. She's cheated on me once, or twice, or more. Don't know yet. Well, well like tell really me about know. the one you do know about. Who the, one, the one I do know about is for the simple fact that I was told by the guy she cheated on me with, his wife told me actually about it because she wasn't going to tell me about it. What she had done is me and her, we, we haven't had, you know, we, towards the end, we haven't had really much sex at all. So I asked her, you know, hey, can we do this? Well, she didn't. She didn't want to set it hurt. But that next night yet, she'd go have sex with another dude. Now, yet, I mean, I, and I didn't understand that. I mean, I was willing to do it. Right. So why not stay at home, Mrs. Hendricks? We're going to ask her. Right. Mrs. Hendricks, did you have an affair with another guy? One time. One time. Was it a one-time thing or just one yeah, affair? It was a one-time. One-time thing. Did you did you come home and confess? No. How did he, how did he find out about it? Uh, I know. I told him. You told him. Mm -hmm. Well, yes. then you came home and confessed. No, huh? no. no, not that night. But but at some point, yes. no. you told him about it. Hang on, just a second. Is that the one he's talking about? Where he yes. says that the wife of the guy that you slept with told him? Yes. Okay. Did the wife tell him before you got to tell him? I have no idea. You don't seem very sorry about it, Ms. Hendricks. Do you care? No. Yes. No, she don't. You say she she's don't. a sex addict. She Why is. Why do you say but that? Yeah, okay, well, I can't say that now because she wouldn't have sex with me, but she'd have sex with someone else. So if that's what you call a sex addict, I guess so, but I'm not getting none of it. Where am I at? I'm married to her and I don't get nothing. Mrs. Hendricks, do you believe you're a sex addict? Not anymore. You were at home. <laughs> <laughs> you, you missed out. You came yeah, a little yeah, too of late. Course, yeah. Uh, Mrs. Hendricks, did you believe you had a, a sex addiction before? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> no. Hey. I ain't gonna go there. Hey. So <laughs> <laughs> so And I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna go there. I'm fighting with every fiber of my being. Um, <laughs> you say Mr. Hendricks' weed smoking is what drove you apart. 
Is yes, that true? Ma yes, ma'am. Why don't you tell me about that? Well, we were homeless our entire marriage. No. And Hold on, I'll let you, I'll let you respond. And uh, for like the last part of our marriage, it was constant. Like every dime that we got, it had to go to pot or cigarettes. But it was mainly pot. Uh, there was this one time where we lived with a friend of a family members of his. Uh huh. And it, we woke up and we had a couple of dollars left. He he got up. And as we were trying to figure out something to do for breakfast, he was scraping the bowl from the last night. And he was, it was like every five minutes he had to get high, but he was never satisfied. Were you homeless, but still spending all your money on weed? No, Your Honor, every time, she says we were homeless, but we had a place to stay. Yes, we did live in our car for a couple days, but she was having all these dudes, you know, mm -hmm. that she would call to get money. Well, you know, here's, here's what my understanding is. Men wasn't the, weren't the only problem. You say that your husband is uncomfortable with your bisexuality. Is that true? Yeah. That, no, that explain, is true. Explain that to me. First of all, you are bisexual. Is that, yes. is that true? And you've known that? You knew that when you married him? Yeah, I knew that you know, I was bisexual when I married him. Did you tell him? Yes. And did you think that was a good thing? Yeah, of course you knew. <laughs> Thing. Right, right. It's an honest answer. It's an honest answer. He seems really not only comfortable with, but happy about your bisexuality. <laughs> Why do you think he is uncomfortable with it? Well, there was this one time where, like, he used, okay, like, Halloween, mm -hmm. this last Halloween, we were all, like, me and three of my friends and him. We were driving, well, he was the one driving, he was also drinking, and he was the one driving the car and the rest of us were walking around trick-or-treating and he would my one of my friends got back in the car she told me that he hit on her and the way he defended himself was it was for me oh so he was trying to find you someone to have sex with that was his explanation yeah, yeah that's that's too. what he said is that what you said no, that was I, pretty I, weak I, though you know i i am fully down with it you know as long as she wasn't cheating on me and it was with another female and yes i did talk to the chick and yes i did ask her and she said that she was totally cool with it and that she'd be down with it mm -hmm. so i was like yes i want to do it when divorce court continues did allison do it again i picked up her phone and looked at it it's an automatic thing you know so I picked it up and dude was like, well, I had a good night with you. The sex was great. When are we going to do it again? You know? And I'm like, this is Hendrix. Do you recall that incident? Yes, and it's not what he thinks. Divorce isn't easy. If you want to share your story, call toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com or become a fan at facebook.com slash Joshua Hendricks, who says he wants to divorce his wife because she cheated on him. But is she as much of a cheater as he thinks she is? All the guys that he thinks I'm sleeping with are just good friends of mine, like guys that I've met before I even knew him. You say she en engages in sexting a lot. How did Sex. you find that out? Well, I mean, okay, I got, a, I, got a, I got her phone one time. I picked it up, yes. I know it's wrong, but mm -hmm. I did it. Mm -hmm. I picked it up and I see so much things on there like one time I had the I, I was sitting there at home and she was like we were arguing about something she got mad mm -hmm. said well I'm leaving and so she jumped in the car and left at 11 o'clock at night tells me she goes to a park by herself by herself now I know she's scared of dark but she's gonna go to the park at 11 o'clock at night by herself walk around the park alone she didn't come back till 4 a.m. that day that night when she came home she went to sleep I got a, I heard some vibration or ring or something and I picked up her phone and looked at it. It's an automatic mm -hmm. thing, you know? So I picked it up and dude was like, well, I had a good night with you. The sex was great and it was very good. When are we going to do it again? You know? And I'm Mrs. like, Mrs. Hendricks, okay. do you recall that incident? Yes, and it's not what he thinks. Well, well tell me what it is. Um, well, it's going to sound stupid. But okay. I knew he was, je I know he's jealous, and that guy was just a friend. I did nothing with him, and it was a prank, you could say. 
Oh, so did you did you put that guy up to it? Did you say, let's prank my husband, let's let's do a pretend text about we had sex? Well, the, Were the you mad at him or something? He just didn't have anything else to do. I, I was it? tired of the jealousy. All the guys that he thinks I'm sleeping with are just good friends of mine, like guys that I've met before I even knew him. And he gets, he gets jealous. Like, um, I was living with uh, a couple of, of a friend, two friends of mine that are together, and if it wasn't for them, I would have never met him. But he got, je he was, so, he was jealous because I was still talking to him. One of the guys that introduced you to him. Well, I, w I was living with these friends, like I said, and it was their truck that brought me to his house that night. Uh huh. So. And he's, but he's still jealous of them. Yes. You say her family members are the main reason you fight. What? Why is that? because they hate me and they talk real bad about me and they put me down every time I try to do something good. Well, see, when we got married, he told my mom that I wouldn't have to lift a finger that, because growing up, I was spoiled, as he says. Yeah, very. So your family didn't like Mr. Henry? No. And they didn't like him because he didn't have enough money to spoil you? No, it was the That's fact wrong. that he wasn't providing for me, not just the fact that he wasn't spoiling me. It was he just, just couldn't provide the basics. Well. No, everything I that we had, everything that we had in our marriage, it wasn't because of him. It was because his family. Mm -hmm. He didn't go off and get an actual paycheck. And the time that he says that we were that we weren't homeless, that was for a month. Uh, and then we lived with his uh, with a family member for maybe another two months. And then the beginning of our marriage, we lived with um, one of my family members, like right off the bat. Did you not see all this when you were dating him? Did you have no idea how he made his money, what he was doing? He told me he partly owned uh, one of his family members' uh, body shops. And there wasn't much of a dating thing, and that's stupidity on my part. We there only, wasn't much of a dating thing. What, what, what does that mean? We were together for three months, then we got married. Now, what, 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 what was the reasoning behind that? I thought I loved him. And got married. When divorce court continues, what did Joshua do to land himself behind bars? Dude said neither one of y'all are going to go to jail as long as y'all be honest with me. I went to jail. Do you engage in the trend of sexting? Call 1-800-282-1991 to vote now and see if America agrees with your opinion. You'll also receive some valuable offers. Call 1-800-282-1991 now. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Allison Hendricks, who says she wants to divorce her husband because he is too jealous of her male friends. But is Allison the real troublemaker in their marriage? You say your wife lifting a lot. Is that true? No. She got caught one time and I got dragged into it. How'd that happen? How'd I do it? Because she stole something and we're, we're yeah, we're, you know, out of money and everything. So we went and uh, we we're going to try to take something and take it back and get the money for it. Well, she decided to do it. So we both did it. She walks out the door. The alarm goes off on her. Not me. I wouldn't have got caught. I would have been clean and clear, ready to go my, do my own thing. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so, but, but you gotta understand, she had something, it didn't look like anything like it would go off on an alarm. Well, it went off, we got caught. Dude said, neither one of y'all are gonna go to jail as long as y'all be honest with me and y'all have ID. Well, I didn't have an ID, so I went to jail. So she used her car to bail me out, okay? She put up her car, but keep in mind, I did get her car back out. Okay, I no, did. Didn't. Yes, how I did. I no, no, hey, hey, Mr. Hendricks, I don't know how you can claim she was. A, you were both stealing. You just happened to be a little better at, at it than she but was. I'm a, I'm a master. You, you can't get. You can't blame her for that. No, but I mean, it's still, if if she wouldn't have went through and it wouldn't have went off, I would have got home scot free. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I mean, come on now. I would have been scot free. But I did, I paid for the car to get out. No, you didn't. She's saying I didn't, but I did. No, you now, didn't. Now, Mr. Hendricks, given the fact that you're here with another young lady, it would indicate to me that you are Don. 
I am and done you're with ready her. to move on. Right, Completely, I am. this divorce is, it, you're, you're I'm all done. for this I'm divorce. I'm tired of lighting. You, you, however, have told me or my, my people that she, in fact, is still trying to get you back. She was. She was. <laughs> Don't even laugh. Now she, she laughs. No, she has now no she wants to laugh. Day, no, out. no. She tried to get me back before I moved away to where I live now. She tried to get me back. What did she, she do? Was like, well, she was telling me, you know, hey, we need to get back together. Hey, I want to try to work this out. Because that was a well, month after we separated. I was done. I was, I was wanting her back, and then I just realized, well, she's just going to lie and cheat on me more. So what's the point in being with somebody that's going to be like that? But you, you know, but you say that was a month after you separated. You're way past that now. No, it was. I tried to get him back because after being away from him for a month, I figured, you know, maybe we could work this out because marriage is something sacred. It's supposed to be, you know, forever mm -hmm. until death do us think. part. So. Until death do us part. And I don't want to. I don't want you know several different husbands. Uh huh. And I figured try to make this work. So after being away from him for a month. I called him. I was like, you know what? I'm going to be up in the, you know, in the Oklahoma area. Maybe we can get together and talk. Okay. And he, he didn't want to make the drive. He said it was too far. Okay. So you're done now, too. You're not looking for... Nope. Yep. I'm done. When divorce court continues, what shocking information will Joshua's fiance reveal that may throw a wrench in this case? Do you think you might be some of the reason why Mr. Hendricks and Mrs. Hendricks couldn't get back together? Joshua and Allison Hendricks, who married only three months after they met and now are seeking a divorce. Ms. Evans Miller, how are you? I'm doing great. How you are doing you? good? Do you have anything you want to say or anything to add? I can add a little bit. Well, come on up. How long have you been dating Mr. Hendricks? About a month before, uh, two months before May of this year. Two months before what? May of this year. Oh, okay. Do you think you might be some of the reason why Mr. Hendricks and Mrs. Hendricks couldn't get back together? Probably. Okay. That's honest. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Hendricks, why don't you tell me why you believe Mrs. Hendricks owes you $1,272? Oh, okay. Well, that's just because, okay, I'm supposed to receive tax money and I had a paycheck. She was the one with my debit card where my paycheck went to. Right. Never received a paycheck for it. Okay, we received a little bit of money, and I shared that with her, of course. Okay, I told her that she could have some of the money from the tax returns in my paycheck. Fine. Okay, that's great. Well, I haven't received no money, period, whatsoever, and she has told me that she has not received any money. Yet she's doing way better than I am. You know, she was, she's doing a lot better. And but I've had a job. I'm like getting I mean, off my butt. Mrs. Hendricks, uh, how did you get all this stuff that he, he says you have? My family. Your family gave you, oh, okay. After he was- I thought you just said you had a job. I lost that job. She's a liar. Okay. Now, 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 now Ms. Evans Miller, are you comfortable getting involved with him after hearing all this? Yes, I am. Have fun with the pothead. I'm not a pothead. Okie okay? dokie. I'm not, okay? <laughs> Everybody hey, smokes you know pot what, Mr. Mr. Mrs. Tomorrow. Hendricks, I don't know what happened. I, 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 I don't know what happened here. I'm glad you two were separated. I'm so, so, so happy yep. you didn't have any children. Uh, I, Thank I, God I, for that I, one. Uh, I wish you both the best. Ms. Evans Miller, you know, good luck to you too. Uh, Mr. Mr. Hendricks, I can't give you money from her from two third party entities that because you don't know where the money went. It's it's just a presumption, an assumption that somehow well, she, she was able to Somebody had to money. take it. Who who else would take we it? We don't know if they didn't pay you. We don't know where they sent the check. We don't know anything. We can't just say, well, I don't know what happened to it, so we're gonna make we're gonna take the money from her. You gotta give well, me some kind of proof. You gotta give then. me some kind of evidence. I got nothing. So all I will say is good luck to all of you. This matter is adjourned. There will be no recovery. All right. Parties may leave the